Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 8 for Sony PlayStation 1. We are now on the second half of the game, after beating Grenade Man and the second intro stage. And we have some work to do. Let's do it. We're starting off with Sword Man. And I might as well go ahead and show up the Hyper Speed Charge now that I have it. Look at that charge time. Much faster. I'll be shooting lasers all day long. So anyway, we need to go to the right. We need to jump on this button and watch out for the mini bats to come out of here. And then we go into the temple. Now, this part of the temple tells us we'll need all of our special abilities the ones we got from the Robot Masters to get through each room. And his teleporter tells you which one you need. For instance, there's this one right here that tells you that you need the Thunderclaw. Because, can I drop down please? You can hit these switches that control the spikes in one quick motion just by hitting the switches with the Thunderclaw. And just like that, the switches won't give you any more trouble. Also, I want to get this bolt and then swing over here. Now I want to charge up the laser and then get out of here. And once we hit this orange button, we'll activate one of the doors. We'll open one of them up. And from there, we can go on to another area. This one tells us we need the tornado hole to move these things over to the little machines above them so that way we can open up the doors here thankfully there isn't much about this area that is really simple or really difficult also, I had no problems getting this thing over these platforms here. Also, the bats here. They now have three babies. And their babies can attack you by just turning into cones and shooting to the side. It can be a pain in the butt if you're not ready for it. And now it's time for our third area where we will need the flash bomb. If you hit the enemies with the flash bomb, you'll illuminate the room. There's a green panel in the background of that first screen. And there's a red one right here. If you have two bombs line the place up, maybe, you can easily light the room. So green red yellow good it is different every time you come into this room and if you get the uh, combination wrong you will have enemies dropping down on you those little things up there do drop the little totem enemies as I like to call them whenever their eyes flash and those things take a lot of abuse just like that just like you're seeing here and now we need to use the Ice Wave for the last part of this. Thankfully, the Ice Wave has a really useful use here. All these things shooting flames, freeze them with the Ice Wave. The flames are instant death, but if you cool them all down, you won't have any problems. Makes this part super easy. And now we have this last area. Drop down the pit. There's nothing to the right. Don't even bother. And we now have this mini boss. Whenever this mini boss opens up, it will reveal a crystal that will shoot a ton of fireballs at you. And you want to run, jump and slide over, well, jump over and slide under them to avoid them when necessary.
Now, near the end of the battle, the bridge is broken by this hammer robot. If the hammer robot hits the platform you are on, you're going down. Also, if you get knocked back into the lava and you can't back get back up, or if you jump into the lava, that's also instant death, so don't touch the lava. Also, by beating this mini-boss, we get Rush Bomber, which summons Rush to fly around at the top of the screen and drop bombs. I never really use the Rush abilities much, though there are a few times where I do have to use them to either get myself out of a scrape, get myself out of a really bad situation, or to get a bolt. And I'm going to need the... Flash bomb again to get rid of this thing that will shoot fireballs at me. Now you'll really see the hammer robot in action here. So thanks to the flash bomb, we are able to get rid of those totems that were in the way easily. And for that set of flame are those lava pillars that come out. You do have to use the left and right buttons to move the platforms left and right. And in that case, you have to go all the way to the left right first. Then you have to have both of those pillars of lava all the way up and then make your way to the left so that way you can make your way over the spikes and up to the ladder. That felt like a mouthful, but I was trying to explain that the best I could. And I was trying to reach that game, and you wouldn't let me. I do not like the enemy placement here. Thankfully, I can try again just a little bit. But yeah, not a big fan of the enemy placement that is here. What I wanted to do was use the flash bomb to destroy that brown wall because it does have a flash bomb icon on it. And from there... I can climb up the ladder. You only have one shot to get this, and if you don't get it, you'll have to fall into the lava and try to try again. Now, before we go to the right, let's go to the left instead. This is how we're going to get a bolt. By the way, that bolt in the flash bomb section, the one with the dark rooms, I believe that is only in the PlayStation version. It's not on Saturn. According to MMHP.net. So... Now you know. And now we're going to get our hands on Swordman. Finally. I won't hold back. Swordman has a couple of attacks. When he says Fire Slash, be ready to slide under him. And then slide under him again when his upper body returns to his legs. When he jumps up like that and points his sword downwards... You want to move out of the way of the statue that will come down on your then current location. When he says final strike, his upper body will leap into the sky while the lower body will move to the other side of the screen. He will then use the flame sword. And you want to be away from that because flames will emanate out of it and it reaches to almost the center of the screen. You can use the Mega Buster on this guy, but you can also use the flame, the uh, grenade bomb. And when he's also using Fire Slash, he is also invulnerable. And there we go. I was one hit away from death there. That was amazing. Matter of fact, it w I was empty. Just like Swordman. But, well, I had only one hit left, and I guess the game decided to be generous that m for that one moment. No, no, no. That No, I was at half health. I'm looking at the uh, whip energy by mistake. My bad. And we now have the flame sword. You... Just slash with a small pillar of flame at enemies. It is basically a very short-range sword made out of fire. 
It's not like Swordman's at all where you can shoot projectiles that are also short range out of it. No, it's just the sword. That's it. But we now have three more bolts. I'm going to get a drink of tea here. And from here, we're going to take on Searchman next. Searchman has two heads. They apparently seem to talk at the same time, I would think. And we have some of the more interesting music in the game. I will post the music to this stage in the description. It is rather nice. You have gorilla enemies that will throw stuff at you. You have frog enemies that have their babies right on top of them. You have these things. That you can destroy with the flame sword. And you also have things that you can swing on with the thunder claw. These things will definitely be in quite a good amount. You will see them a lot. And you also have infinitely spawning birds that fly out from the sides of the screen until you reach certain points. And now we have this area. First off, I want to go down here. I want to go down here first. You, I am going to do this because I have the flame sword. If you hit the bigger frog first, the tinier baby frog jumps off and it jumps a lot higher and further than the bigger one. So you want to be careful about that. And we could take a nice little shortcut to the exit, but I want to do something first. Also, while those plants are on fire, they can hurt you, which is all right. And I just got all that health back. Excellent. Now, we're going to have some fun with Thunderclaw. And Tornado Hold. The green gorilla enemies, they throw spike balls at you and they can also jump. So here's what I'm going to do. Destroy this plant. I may have to get rid of the Metars. Okay, switch tornado hold. And that's not what I wanted to do. Ugh. And it's a long way down if you mess up. And you really don't want to mess this up. Alright, let's get those out of the way. Come on! Really? This shouldn't be too difficult. If there's one thing I don't like about Thunderclaw is that the timing of it can be a bit meh. And therefore, grabbing onto hooks when I would like harder than it should be. So yeah, this, this one definitely takes a few tries. And I can't press square right away or else I won't grab it. It's always that slight delay that throws me off completely. And I can't get there that way. I really do not like... Oh, come on! Waiting for this thing to come back so I can do this. Thank you. You have to press square with Thunderclaw equipped the moment you start dropping. That's the trick to the whole thing. Otherwise, you're not going to get this bolt. <sighs> Sweet Christmas. You can tell I don't like getting that one. And Rhino Bot, you can just destroy it with the laser. Just charge it up and wail on it. It goes down super easy. And now we are going to the second part of the stage, which will be fun.
a little more fun. Maybe. At least we'll have everything refilled. And I'll also be able to just destroy everything with the laser. Shoot the door, get to the other side before it closes. Also, the black gorilla enemies, they throw boulders at you. And you can also use the boulders to get to higher areas sometimes. So that's the thing. You won't see them very often, though. Usually just the first two that we've seen. Also, equip the Thunderclaw. Fire with the other button, the other shoot button. Shoot this thing down before it can shoot missiles at you. And just tear through everything with the, with the laser. And thought I could shoot that thing down, but apparently not. Ah, I messed the timing up again. Again, you have this just drop down, like just do it the instant you start dropping. Is this a continue point? Why is a continue point here? I mean, this this is actually a good spot for continue point, but I wish it were a little later, so that way, in case you miss that bolt, you can. Great, now I'm going to have to spend time getting that one before I go to Dr. Wily. Fun. I really shouldn't be having this much trouble with the game as I have. Because I know it's been a while, but I still remember a ton of stuff. But good grief, you thought, you think I would have less trouble than this. Anyway, let's go ahead and fight Search Man. And from here, when they go into the bushes, you want to hit the bushes with the flame sword. And you also want to hit Search Man with the flame sword whenever possible. And you also don't want to be hit by the... the deadly swarm missiles that they have. The homing sniper missiles that will swarm in on you, and that little disc that bounces from side to side as it drops down to the ground. Thankfully, you can stop Deadly Swarm by hitting with the flamethrower before he can pull it off. And we now have the homing sniper. It's a homing missile that you can shoot at enemies. It's a really nice weapon to have and it may get you out of some tough spots now and again and there's also a few uses for it too and we have two more robot masters to go but those will have to wait until the next video Join me next time when we take on Aquaman, no, Astro Man, followed by Aquaman. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!